Riverbank Zoo and Garden here in Columbia, um, still operating uh, during COVID under um, um, COVID restrictions. But I wanted to get Susan O'Kane. She is the director of marketing and communications to tell us what's going on at Riverbank Zoo, because, you know, we're going kind of stir crazy in our homes (laughs) looking for some place to go. (laughs) Welcome to the program, Susan. Thank you for having me. You know, I totally get it. Um, And You know, we opened at the end of May, um, the last weekend of May, to members and guests. So we have been putting one foot in front of the other since then. Now, uh, you know, we have been operating at about half capacity. Um, You know, there have been some changes, some modifications in the park. Obviously, one of those changes that uh, our visitors see even before, you know, getting to the zoo is the time reservation. So um, that has helped us limit capacity. Um, And then, of course, all of those safety measures in place, the timed entry, the safety measures measures that you see in the park, the additional uh, cleaning measures, um, obviously all that in place for the safety of our guests, staff and the animals. Okay, tell us about the time reservation. How does that work? How long can you stay? Once you have a ticket, you can stay as long as you would like in the park. Um, And so it's very simple. All you have to do is log on to riverbanks.org. Once you've decided, you know, the day that you would like to visit the park, um, you can go on and you can see what time slots we have uh, for reservations. And those reservations are for both our members and our guests. So in order to enter the park, whether you are a member or a you know, are a member of the general public, um, you do have to go on and make sure that you have a timed reservation um, in order to be able to come into the park. And that's, of course, to make sure that we are meeting that 50 percent capacity. One thing that we always look forward to, and it brings so much cheer during the holidays, is lights before Christmas. So how are you going to manage that through COVID? Well, it's been going really well. Um, Again, guests coming in, members and guests coming in, already are gonna notice um, things prior to coming into the park, safety modifications modifications prior to coming into the park. Um, So the timed entry, for instance, that mimics our daytime operations. So you do have to have a timed reservation, whether you are a member or a member of the general public in order to visit lights before Christmas. Um, You know, we still have our safety modifications uh, that we have in place. Um, We are still, Uh, operating under enhanced cleaning measures. Of course, guests coming in are also going to notice that, for instance, around the Jingle Bell bonfire, um, we have spacing measures in place so that we are making sure that people are able to keep that six foot distance from one another. Um, We also have additional um, um, places to roast s'mores throughout the park. Um, One of the most popular spots, obviously, is Santa's Village this time of year and as part of Lights Before Christmas. Um, And we've also made some safety modifications there. So guests are going to notice um, a queue line that's going to help the party that you're with, whether that be a group of friends or your family, um, helping you to stay six feet apart as as you uh, come up to, to visit with Santa. And then Santa is um, in his uh, area just as he would normally be. However, instead of kids going to sit on Santa's lap, we have spaced uh, that area for the children to sit six feet from Santa. So they are still able to um, come in and tell Santa what they would like for Christmas. Um, And they're still able to have that interaction. But again, keeping social distancing in mind. Um, we were making sure that we obviously have that, uh, those spacing measures in place. It's really worked very well. And, um, you know, this is our 33rd year of lights before Christmas. And uh, it was really important to us to be able to offer this event this year. Uh, you know, it's, it's been a, 2020 has been interesting for all of us. And um, it, it's just well, all worth it whenever we see the children come in with their families um, and friends come together to celebrate the season. Um, and just knowing that we are doing everything that we possibly can as a zoo and garden to make sure that those safety measures are in place. So not only can folks come in and enjoy um, one of my favorite events at the zoo, um, but they can also rest assured that they are, are safe uh, this time of year. And I was noticing that there are a couple of things that might require an additional fee, like um, North Pole Express and a couple of others, right? 
Yeah, absolutely. So um, just as you would um, during the day, uh, we do offer the North Pole Express. Um, our kids train. Uh, we also have, um, like I was mentioning before, an opportunity to roast s'mores. Um, and then we also have the carousel. So as you would during the day, those explore more credits. Um, those are what you're going to use to um, take part in those activities. Um, I do want to mention, too, though, that it is $12 um, for adults. Um, coming into Lights Before Christmas and $10 for children 2 through 12, our members do receive at least one free uh, visit depending upon their membership giving level. So make sure that you know all of that information before um, you book your tickets or come, come to the park. So All right. You also have an online gift shop that people can take. You know, now is this the season of giving. It would make a great gift if you um, get something from the gift shop. So what kind of things are in the gift shop? That's right. Well, it's typically what you are going to find um, in our Riverbanks gift shop right there at the main entrance. So we have different plushes. We have um, some items for, you know, uh, clothing items, um, different types of toys. We have face masks, zoo face masks. So if you're looking for a zoo themed face mask to give to someone this holiday season, um, you can certainly find those there, but it's it's interchangeable. You know, we know a lot of people um, don't necessarily want to venture out and go to the malls. And I, I'm going to admit I have become, especially this year, I have become more of an online shopper myself and especially this time of year. So you're going to find some of the things online that you would see in our, in our regular gift shop. So, again, so your for the, gift shop is open. Okay. I didn't know. Yeah, I our gift open. shop is open. Yeah. Okay. It's, it, it opened right up when we opened back in May. Um, and of course we've um, also added some uh, uh, Christmas themed items um, for the uh, online store this time of year as well. So, so, um, again, you're going to find a lot of variety, everything from kids um, to adults. And again, um, I know I'm going to get a couple of my friends some zoo themed face masks this year. So definitely check it out, whether it's here at the zoo or online at riverbanks.org. All right. And let's talk about membership because membership plays a, a great role in helping you fund Riverbank Zoo and Garden. And, and as you're speaking about membership, also talk about um, where proceeds go. A great gift this time of year or any time of year really is a, a membership to Riverbank Zoo and Garden. It's it's good throughout the entire year and it typically pays for itself um, in just a couple of visits. And the big the best thing about it though, give buying one of those memberships means you're helping us take care of our animals. So that money um, goes into Riverbank Society, which helps take care of the animals, which helps feed the animals and, and all of their needs. So definitely something when you when you do purchase a membership and there are memberships for, for everyone, there are memberships for individuals, there are memberships for grandparents. Um, one of our most popular is the Family Explorer where um, rides and attractions are free for those who purchase that. Um, so definitely something for everyone with those memberships. However, again, just wanna stress that when you do purchase a membership, um, that money is going back to the care um, for the care of our animals. All right. Riverbank Zoo and Garden, um, your uh, website information, your social media um, and anything else you'd like to add before we go. Sure. Yeah, you can find us at www.riverbanks.org. Of course, we also have a Facebook page. And you can find us on Instagram. So check it out. Um, it's There's always something to see and always something to do. Susan O'Kane, Riverbank Zoo and Garden. Thank you so much for joining us. If I don't talk to you between now and the end of the year, Merry Christmas and be safe. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you. And it was good to be here. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. 